Hi everybody, my name is Don Lappin. I am a rock guitarist and an assistant professor on the guitar department of Berklee College of Music. I started teaching there in the fall of 2000 and I absolutely love what I do. I teach mostly private instruction and I work one-on-one -on -one with my students on a weekly basis throughout the semester. What I'm most known for, me personally, is my two-hand technique, which I've been developing for the past 35 years or so and continue to develop. Good, one again. Now two. Two. Nice. Sound really good. Some of the things I like to talk about in my lessons, and this again, this varies from student to student depending on the student's needs and what they want to work on. In addition to my, my two-hand technique, fretboard organization, modes, pentatonics, arpeggios, chords, developing chords, improvisation, comping, rhythm guitar playing, getting a good guitar sound, how can you go about getting you know, the best tone out of that amp. Uh, these are all very, very important things. So I grew up in the 70s and 80s, and some of my early influences include, uh, and again, sorry, I have, a, I have a list here, Rush, Yes, Led Zeppelin, Vi, Satriani, Andy Timmons, Alan Holdsworth was a huge influence, Frank Gambale, another big influence. One of the most important things for me as a musician was to be able to, to develop my own voice on the instrument. And I, I, I like to work with my students and find ways that they can discover what their sound is and how they can develop it. And that's something that I'm always trying to pay attention to and to get across to my students as well, is the sound of your fingers. How, it, it could be how you, how you bend, how you use vibrato. Uh, and getting them to identify the things uh, and the elements that they like in their favorite musicians and not copy them, but to emulate the feelings they get, like Jeff Beck's vibrato. I could never in a million years sound, emulate Jeff Beck's vibrato, but it influences me to work and improve my own vibrato and to try to come up with unique ways of sounding that might set, help set me apart from my fellow musicians, give me my own voice. One of the things I love so much about our guitar department is its diversity. We have many, many wonderful guitar players and everyone offers their own unique thing, which is so cool. I love that. You know, teaching at Berkeley, I've always thought about this ever since I started teaching there. It's just like being a student. I'm just a little bit of an older student right now, but I, I learn so much and I have the opportunities to learn so much from, from my colleagues and from my, from my students as well. I, I, learn, I learn things every week from, from my students, just talking with them. They'll, they'll, they'll ask a question or they'll, they'll say, hey, check out what I'm working on. I'm like, how did you do that? That was cool. You know, and, and I, all of a sudden, I, they get me thinking about a different way to approach uh, whatever it is that we're, that we're talking about. I think that's a really neat thing. It helps me stay fresh and to continue developing new ideas and techniques. 
So that's a little bit about me. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, shoot me an email at dlappin at berkeley.edu. And be sure to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. We'll see you. Bye.